Hey guys, Leslie here, and today's video is all about how to improve the environmental factors uh, in your bedroom at night so that you get a good night's sleep. So I thought, what better way to show you this than to bring you up to my bedroom? So um, I am um, I'm here in my bedroom, and I want to show you one of the things that I did to improve my sleep, and that was to block out all light at night. I want my room to be as cave-like as possible. And the first thing I did was um, I sewed these curtains and I made sure I incorporated some blackout fabric in them. So um, I, I appreciate not everybody's gonna sew their own curtains. You don't need to do this. All you need to do, you can just get some store-bought curtains or go to a, um, to a curtain atelier and ask them to um, put the blackout material in it, or you can adapt them yourself. So you could just go to Target, um, get um, get some plain fabric curtains, and then online buy or at Joanne Fabrics get some of this great blackout material and literally do a straight stitch up and down and uh, you will have your curtains lined. It's absolutely fantastic. It's a great cheap hack, takes very little time to do, but has a big impact because um, as many of you may have noticed, a lot of cities, towns, and villages have actually decided as part of their drive to more be more eco-friendly and to save money, they have actually switched from uh, amber street light bulbs to white light high blue spectrum bulbs and while those bulbs do save electricity that blue spectrum light actually hits the photoreceptors in our eyes that have nothing to do with sight but actually tell our bodies hey it's daylight it's time to be awake and therefore produce cortisol so cortisol is great if it's during the day like this and uh you know we're meant to be awake but if you get that signal at night you will become chronically stressed and that will prematurely age you at the same time when cortisol is produced it does two things one the body says if i'm producing cortisol i don't need melatonin so it actually down regulates your melatonin production and melatonin is the sleep hormone it really helps with our sleep but at the same time because cortisol is made from progesterone it decreases our progesterone levels and for women going through perimenopause, menopause, or postmenopause, where our progesterone levels have really declined pretty quickly, um, that's terrible because we want to get a good night's sleep, right? I find this so true for my girlfriends who are part of the sandwich generation where they're busy taking care of parents, but also taking care of children, the household, and they've got work. They're chronically stressed, their cortisol levels stay high throughout the day, and that just means low progesterone, which also screws things up with your estrogen testosterone ratios, but also it means that you aren't getting enough melatonin. And the other thing that's great about progesterone is that it acts as an agonist to adrenaline. So if you've ever had a kind of big shock or you know, you've seen the bus coming and you're running after it, you're getting a jolt of adrenaline. And the only way to really, um, you know, there are aging implications for that, which I've talked about in some of my other videos because that'll, that adrenaline will turn into hydrogen peroxide. And in order to get rid of the hydrogen peroxide, neutralize it so it doesn't bleach our hair, for instance, from the inside out, we need antioxidants like glutathione and catalase. But also, if we're just anxious, we need and we want to kind of, um, you know, get rid of that anxiety, progesterone is a natural agonist for adrenaline. So if you have elevated high cortisol, you're going to deplete your progesterone, you're not going to have enough melatonin, and you're not going to have enough to sort of act as an agonist, as a balance counterweight to adrenaline. So all in all, blackout blinds, good. The other thing that I did was um, in this bedroom, I've got a skylight. And you can see behind me, I've got uh, three more of those skylights in the bathroom, the dressing room. And while they're terrific to provide light during the day, at night, you, you know, sometimes you might have a neighbor um, or I've got street lamps or a neighbor who's got bright lights on or something and you just don't want to see that. So 
Um, these great Danish VLUX windows um, have a solar operated um, remote control that actually just allows them to block out the light entirely, which is terrific. And the other thing that I got that's really good was um, these VLUXs here in the bathroom. They're um, sort of, I guess, they have three different functions. So you've got a clear glass function here, and then you can have this diffuse light, but you can also get this blackout function, which is terrific because this is the side of the house that I get all the, um, you know, the sort of bright lights from the street lamps, which I really just like. Um, so those are things you can do to make your room um, darker, but also just as you're walking around the house, how do you prevent yourself from getting too much exposure from say overhead lights? Well, you can wear um, some uh, blue blocking glasses. Now these are from Dave Asprey's company, True Dark. You are not gonna get any dates wearing these glasses, but if you are already in a committed relationship, then these do the job. Um, you can also get, um, these come automatically with a little insert and you can put in a prescription glass, you can put in prescription glass lenses and then they just, they actually just, um, they just pop into here so that you've got, you know, you don't, you just kind of put them on like regular glasses. So I'll put these on now. See, I could even do that one-handed. Uh, probably even less uh, inspiring for date night, but uh, they will help you sleep better. <laughs> so that's on the that's on the blue blocking. Um, side. I also like to keep the lighting in the room down. And one of the ways that I do it is with this nice Himalayan sea salt lamp, which is from a company in Birmingham, England called um, My Oga, M-Y-O-G-A. It's like a combination of my and yoga. And it's Birmingham, England, not Birmingham, Alabama. And what's terrific about it is that it's got a kind of adjustable dial so that you can have it go from very low to very high. And, um, you know, at this brightness, you can actually read um, your book, but then as you're winding down before bed, you just put it down really down, and that's terrific. So that is on the lighting front. Those are all my lighting hacks. Um, I've talked about supplements before. You guys know that I really am a big fan of progesterone. Um, the National Health Service in the UK will give you progesterone for free or for almost nothing. And um, so you can always go to your GP. If you've got hot flashes or you're having trouble sleeping, go to your GP in the UK, get this, it's free, really works and uh, that will help you really sleep like a baby. But the other thing that works great is magnesium. So Nutri is the brand in the UK that has been working with the Institute for Functional Medicine in the United States for at least a decade, maybe two decades. They're really um, sort of physician prescription grade, um, but you can get them at chains in the UK like Revital. And uh, you can't get this in the US, sorry. What you can get in the US, you can get, there are loads of other supplement companies in the United States. Magnesium is so easy to get, which is ironic because something like 70% of the American population is deficient in magnesium. But it really helps with sleep and it will help uh, improve leg cramps. So if you get those leg cramps that keep you up at night or cramps in your feet, having more magnesium, will help with that. It's not gonna take it away, you know, like right away, but it will it will make things better. Um, for guys, guys make progesterone too, and it also declines as they get older. Guys who are having trouble sleeping, I highly recommend Dr. Michael Platt's progesterone cream. Um, this is available online in the United States. Uh, he does ship globally. Um, and within literally two to three minutes of putting some of this on your forearms, you will feel, you will just feel so zenned out. Very, very relaxing. 
and uh, it's not going to keep you asleep for as long as say oral progesterone because this dissipates in the body pretty quickly but it will help you get into that glide path for sleep and um, I work with a doctor in London on Harley Street and she has prescribed that to some of my clients and it really does work great. That's for guys. So final sleep hack then is actually getting the room temperature right. So the body needs to know that um, as it gets ready for sleep, it actually, the core body temperature actually drops. And um, that's why don't work out right before you go to bed. The reason why not is because you've just raised your core body temperature and you've also increased your cortisol, most likely uh, not just from the exercise, but from having worked out in a gym under bright white lights. So we need to cool the body temperature quickly. One of the ways you could do that is by taking a cold shower, just a brief one, maybe for 30 seconds. Um, if it's really, you know, just too horrible to think about doing a cold shower. But the other thing that I love is the chili pad. And this is something I heard about on Tim Ferriss's podcast. And he was talking about how terrible it was in New York City in the summer, how hot it was and how the chili pad really helped him. So I was an early adopter of the chili pad. Um, this is this is the pad, it goes on to your bed like this. It just covers uh, half the bed. So I'm married to an ultra marathoner who, because he puts in around 100 kilometers running every single week, um, his joints need to have a tempur bed. But that is like the worst thing that a perimenopausal, menopausal, postmenopausal woman could have because it traps all the heat in. Our body temperature goes up and you've got this um, you know, it's like sleeping on a soft, squishy marshmallow oven mitt. It's awful. And uh, nothing against Tempur-Pedic. It, yes, it's comfortable, but I just hate the fact that it radiates the heat out. So um, the chili pad is great because you can set the temperature much lower. And um, I'll just show you the setup here. So this is the original setup. It's kind of this cube here. And on the top, you'll see that there are some controls. I've covered the controls with some tape because I hate, as you can see underneath, there is there are some blue lights and I can't stand them. So I've covered them up with more true dark red, um, red tape. And basically, I'll just turn that off. This is the temperature of the pad right now. So say it was 80 then what you would do if you want it to be say 68 these are all in fahrenheit you can do fahrenheit or celsius you just would tap the snowflake and get it down to the level you wanted and then um, it will automatically configure to be that temperature and i uh, you know the penalty for being an early adopter is that i've got this sort of giant setup and it is noisier than the latest model. So if you're considering doing something like this, I encourage you to get the latest model, which is called the Uller, as in cooler, but without the C. So double O-L-E-R. And I will try and put a coupon code um, in the show notes because they often do promotions. And uh, that is tiny. It's much tinier than the one I just showed you. It goes underneath your bed. Um, of course, they've, you know, this is, I don't know, two or three iterations from the version that I have. So it is just that much better. It doesn't make as much noise. So your partner might not be as upset. Um, if you do think about buying this, this is not a cheap purchase. I can't remember how much it was, but it, it was several hundred dollars. Um, make sure that you check with your partner first because the noise may just drive them nuts. Um, so do do consider that. You can also get a pad that goes across the entire bed and you can adjust the temperature for both sides to be different, which is also very cool. So um, those are my hacks for a better night's sleep. I hope that this has been um, you know, a helpful video, just going into those environmental hygiene factors that can uh, induce good sleep. And if you've got any questions, as ever, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them and I'll see you next time. Take care.